Hey guys, and welcome to this video on Salesforce.com. So here I'm on Salesforce.com in the classic view. We can easily switch to the lightning experience just by clicking this button here. And I'm on the setup page. And in this video, we want to import data into a custom object that I called IBM employee. I recently created and we want to do that from a CSV file and we want to use the tools that Salesforce has available. So we're going to go down here below to data management and we could use either data loader or data import wizard. So I'm going to use the data import wizard because we don't have a lot of data and I'm using a CSV file to import this data. So we get to this page that says launch wizard with this big green button here. So I'm going to click on launch wizard and it's going to ask us what kind of data we're looking for. Well, I'm mean looking to import. Well, we're looking to import data into our custom object called IBM employee. So that's what we select and we want to add new records. And I'm going to leave these two, um, I guess, options as none because we're going to uh, map the data ourselves. And let's go ahead and choose our CSV file. All right. So that's the CSV file I want to import the data from. And then it gives us this nice little example where it tries to map the fields themselves, uh, itself. So I'll go ahead and click next. And what we can see now is that I have imported 35 fields successfully and unmapped, the unmapped fields are zero. So it looks like everything uh, worked perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and start our import. Okay, so congratulations, your import has started. So we're going to click OK. Uh, to view our import status. Okay, start time is 4.15 and end time is 4.15, so it's already done. The status is completed and that's basically it. Now we have data into our custom object. So Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video for importing data into Salesforce.com and be sure to check back for more videos on Salesforce. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.